Guy, can you look uh, on, the, on the tree? I absolutely love coming to forest school. You see the children in a completely different light. I hope it doesn't break. <laughs> yeah. When you bring children into the natural environment, you see them in their natural element. You see them showing their strength, showing the interest that they've got. You see them being much more relaxed, much more peaceful. Um, and you have a lot of time yourself as a practitioner to really engage with them, sit back, observe them properly. Um, and scaffold their learning in a way which is really meaningful to them in the moment. I like turnip. You like turnip? I right, like uh, so we are going to plant some of these. Is cucumber? Cucumber. cucumber. We have those at nursery. Home, Remember right? we grew them last year and put them in our cucumber salad? We did. Mm -hmm. Right, well done. You choose one. Right, take it then. Tell us what it is. Um, right. This is to save the, the snails coming in. Last year was very much about building staff's confidence, um, using the space, how it's going to incorporate into daily life at the nursery. Because we've now got the confidence, we want the parents really involved this year now. We would love like, parents to come up and volunteer and really be part of this community garden. We develop their skills over the course of a few weeks. Put another wee bit on. A look. A wee bit more. Yeah. What's happening to it? It's melting. It's melting. When we think about learning for sustainability and really developing citizens in the future that are going to be able to look after nature, we need to make sure that they've got those core experiences when they're really young and they understand how they can look after nature and ultimately nature will look after them.